Hey guys, this is your horse Rifan Nasser and today in this video I want to tell you that if you are in the market and want to buy a good stereo system then you need to make sure that these things uh, that I'm about to tell you. First of all you need to make sure that the sound system that you are getting has HDMI out option available. Now HDMI out I will tell you that this cable is very uh, good cable in case of uh, if transferring videos from set top boxes or even from laptops to the displays. Now in this case if you have an HDMI out port available in your stereo system this means that this uh, HDMI uh, port when you connect it with the TV you can control the stereo system with the remote of the TV. Now this is called as CEC consumer electronics control and this system has been around for years now. The second thing that I want to tell you that uh, if your sound system doesn't has, have the HDMI out port and it has an optical input port then okay it's fine you can use that optical input port with your TV if your TV supports it. But in this case uh, you cannot control your stereo system with a single remote. Now you have to use another remote to control the volume of your stereo system. Third thing is that you can connect your uh, audio device to the uh, TV by using an auxiliary cable. Now this is pretty much similar to the 3.5mm mm headphone jack that we uh, used to have on our phones. So this is like you are connecting the uh, two different devices like one stereo and one t television to an 3.5mm uh, headphone jack cable. Uh, but out of all this HDMI output port system is the best one because it allows you to control your stereo system with a single remote that is the remote of the TV. Now in order for this to work your TV should have an ARC port available. Now ARC or EARC ports basically these are those uh, uh, ports which are which allow the audio uh, relay system in, in it like they can like uh, receive the signal also and they can send the signal back to the output device also. In this case uh, your stereo system and also the television should have an ARC or ERC port along with the HDMI port. If you have a Sony TV this will be like uh, uh, Bravia Sync. This is like that they rebranded it to Bravia Sync. If you have a TCL TV it can be T-Link. So, so different, uh, you know, companies have used the same CEC, uh, you know, accreditation uh, by changing the name. Rest of the thing is same. So, therefore, if you buy any sound stereo or even home home theater system, make sure to check this thing with your uh, stereo system in order to, you know, have a seamless experience. If you have an old HDMI cable, chances are that that HDMI cable won't uh, connect your stereo system to your television. I have faced this issue because I just got a Sony home theater system with me but when I connected an old HDMI cable to it, it won't even uh, you know uh, register the device like it won't even see the device like it won't even connect to the device. But whenever I use an HDMI 2.1 uh, cable which is my PlayStation 5's cable it will it automatically connect so this is kind of a strange thing as you all know that there are a new kind of HDMI cables uh, in the uh, market right now that offer 4k uh, streaming and all that kind of stuff so therefore it is, it is necessary that you should also check that your HDMI is kind of a super speed HDMI and it does support the transmission of audio to the stereo systems so that's pretty much it and this is what I wanted to uh, share to you guys so that when you buy in stereo system you you know about these things uh, prior hand so thank you very much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one peace